Hello, and welcome to our show, Wireless. We are at Nokia Siemens Network, launch of their manufacturing plans to attend LTE production in Brazil. And I talk with Fernando Carvalho, he's head of the strategy business for America's region. Hello, Fernando. Uh, in this manufacturing plans, uh, NSN plans to, to provide LTE products for which carriers? Well, we expect to provide all the LTE for uh, basically Brazil with, with the manufacturing plant we have here. We currently have two contracts already signed with two of the Brazilian providers that are negotiating with the other ones. We do expect to supply all the equipment for all the LTE contracts from the manufacturing we're doing here. So all in all, by the time this, uh, this is fully done, we expect to have four carriers, possibly five. Now you have Brazilian Oi and Claro, which belongs to America Mobile, that's right? We also have Sky in, uh, in Brazil, which is done with the same equipment we, we just saw. So essentially, we already have these two contracts, which are two bigger contracts with a national footprint. And we have the Sky contract, which is already launched in, in, in Brazil. Naturally, the Sky contract was launched in the past, so that material is still imported. But the, what we expect to start delivering from the rollouts and networks now in Brazil, this is basically the one manufactured over here. Right. And Vivo is still, uh, will we still announce uh, one more or two more uh, providers as well as team? What are uh, NSN expectations related to that? We're discussing with both players. We, we can't anticipate what the, what the decisions of these vendors will be and, and, and what these uh, players will be. They also have their own criteria to, to make these decisions. But we are in very advanced discussions with both operators to, to use the benefits of not only the local technology we have, but some of the other things that you're exclusive for the solution we saw today, right? It's small size, it's very energy efficient, and has some other benefits from a radio perspective, which make it very efficient technology for launching LT. During the event, uh, Eduard Baraujo told that there will be produced uh, 15,000 uh, radio base stations for a year here. Do you believe this uh, amount of radio space station will be enough to provide? Carriers, uh, OI and Claro and Sky? The, the production is less of the limit. It's going to be more based on how the operators want to engage the, the obligations they have initially, which is the bare minimum they're going to do, and then the commercial ambitions they have going beyond that and launching in additional cities. So we do expect, for instance, that in early next year we're going to have coverage for LTE in Sao Paulo, although Sao Paulo is not necessarily inside the Federation's club cities that Anatel has, has obliged the operators to, to, to launch it. We, we do expect that the coverage is going to go probably beyond what we initially forecast in terms of production. So we have a base case, which is a 60,000, but we can't go beyond that with a relatively uh, easy setup because we're using a very flexible production here with our Flexionics partner. Is there any plan to export? We were looking at that. It's still not fully conclusive on if we can export and where, but we're looking with a lot of attention into exporting to the countries here in Mercosul. So Argentina, Chile, Colombia, other countries which are kind of coming to LTE are very strong candidates, but we still have to do the detailed analysis for those. And uh, Latin America represents about 13% of global revenue of the Nokia Siemens network. Do you believe with this uh, manufacturing plant and all LTE deployment could increase this percentile? We think that it's probably not going to increase in terms of percentile. We, we do think it's going to increase slightly in terms of revenue as all in all. The, but then again, we also expect to have some other regions globally having different shares in growth. So when you look at North Seems, we have very strong Latin America. We're not that strong in North America, and that's an area where we're putting a lot of focus on in terms of growth. So in the end, we, we expect these things kind of to, to balance out. From a Latin American perspective, this is a 1.4 billion euro region for us, which is very, very significant. So we will look into next year, and although we're refocusing our business to lead some of the segments, we do expect to grow in other segments as with 4G and 3G. So all in all, we're looking at the next year very similar to what we're seeing this year, perhaps a little bit higher. Okay, so thank you a lot for this interview. Thank you very much. I'm Roberta Preska, directly from Sorocaba in Brazil. Follow us at orshawireless.com.